Well, it's a labor of love for two bartenders, former bartenders. They opened up a jazz bar on the Upper West Side with a very important mission, keeping jazz alive in the 21st century. That is so true. Entertainment reporter Sandy Canyon joins us to dish a little bit about smoke. <laughs> Dave, Laurie, what most people do for fun, I call that work. And make no mistake, trying to figure out what's hot, what's not, is a great way to make a living. But when I want to just relax and enjoy myself at a show, I head to that club called Smoke to watch the giants of jazz make magic. They are the keepers of the flame, true believers in the gospel passed down by the giants of jazz. As Duke Jackson said, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Harold Mayburn is a living link to a storied past. I'm riding on the shoulders of people that came before me. And inspiring those who came after him by teaching jazz for decades at William Patterson University in Wayne, New Jersey. That's one of his former students on sax, another on drums. He's the professor for all of us, said another musician, who came to smoke on the Upper West Side. If the idea is to educate, it is also to entertain. The music sells itself. We just need to get people to hear it because everybody falls in love with jazz. I mean, it's, 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 it's the essence of all modern music. You know, when people listen to hip hop and they listen to rock and roll, you know, it comes from the blues, it comes from jazz. Frank Christopher and Paul Stash used to work here as bartenders. Well, uh, I grew up around jazz. My um, dad took me to jazz clubs since I was four years old. They scraped enough money to open this place 16 years ago. It's a small club, but it's very intimate. And the people that work and the people that run it are very warm, gracious, beautiful human beings. And they love the music. They love the music. Ah, uh, that's the great Gene Baylor. When I was in college in Jersey, I fell in love with jazz when a friend of mine who played congas asked me to manage a group called Montage, and I've been a fan of the music ever since. When I'm looking to get back in that groove, I head to smoke at Broadway and 106th Street. The street has a second name, the name of Duke Ellington. Wow.